Engineering, it is, in many sense, try to solve the problem, turn some impossible to possible. I grew up in China. I was about 11 or 12 years old. And uh, my dad came back after many days being away uh, for construction projects near the sea. And he's got a story to tell you. He started saying, okay, we had a delegation come, you know, to visit our site, inspect the site. And uh, all male, and there's one woman. So this woman actually is leading the whole team. It's chief engineer. And he said, chief engineer, a woman, a woman, chief engineer. And his eye just full of delight and surprise. I thought, hmm, obviously, he admires this woman so much. So in my heart, I thought, hmm, I want to be a woman engineer and water engineer. Everywhere, everything needs water and we cannot survive without water either. So when I went to university, I was 16 and I was really, really short. And the university has a basketball team and they want new members. I went and uh, did the trial. And uh, at the end, the coach said, hmm, you're obviously very fit. You're very fast. You're very flexible. <laughs> and uh, it's another thing, maybe you're fearless. So when I was doing the master's degree, and that was three years, so I chose to do both physical modeling and numeric modeling and develop software. So I built the model, is 100 meter long. This practical knowledge by the observing that day in, day out for a long, long period really improved my understanding how things happening in the real world. National Reservoir Inundation Mapping Program. Oh, the challenge was absolutely huge. There are over 2,000 reservoirs and in England and Welsh. We need to produce the modeling and mapping for over 2,000 reservoirs. But the budgets available only allow you to do 100 reservoirs. So this basically seems really impossible. I've been thinking for a long time, scribble on these little notebooks I carry with me, and also put it to my bedside. This is my 3 a.m. book. Basically, I got up at 3 o'clock in the morning and note down the idea. It's like a, a production line, everything fit into one tube. It just turn out at the end the flood risk maps with innovation, automation, and standardization. All the data collection, data proof process, data analysis, integration, aggregation, preparation to the model build, model development, and particularly for the cascade reservoirs, how to automatically set a trigger through the program coded into the software and to produce the flood risk, hazard, and so on, and to produce flood risk maps and also identify the risk to life and to people. Now we close this knowledge gap that can respond to emergency risks. So this has really become the best practice in the industry. Not only does Sun Yan strive for the highest levels of technical excellence, she's working hard to pass that knowledge on to the next generation. That's fantastic. That's absolutely fantastic. It's leadership. The huge, huge challenges lie ahead of us. As McDonald, as fellow, we have a role to play. For example, climate change and flood risk, that exists everywhere. It's just a matter of when and where it's going to happen. Together, we can really make a huge difference beyond our imagination.